Hello, welcome back. Today we'll cover how to install various browser web drivers. Web drivers serve as proxies that make possible the communication between a browser and Selenium for the purpose of automation and testing. After doing an update on Python and removing some libraries, my flash score scraper throws an error every time it runs. The error itself is in the last statement, which dictates that Gecka driver be added to path. So, we'll begin from scratch, from installing the web drivers, to adding them to path, then running the program. So we open the browser and search for a package named Web Driver Manager from Python's Package Manager repository. We need the one without spacing within its name. So, we'll click on the second result. We are taken to Python's repository for all pip packages. At this point, you could either copy the installation command or scroll down for additional instructions. The module installs the additional four packages also. With the driver manager installed, we can download web drivers for Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Edge, Chromium Edge, and Internet Explorer browsers. So we'll click the copy button to copy the installation command and fire up the command prompt. We paste the command on the command prompt and press enter. It is not necessary that we navigate to pip directory in order to execute the command. The package installs some additional packages, but we only need the web driver manager. Back at the browser, we collect some additional information on how to install the web drivers themselves. For our case, we'll not specify the browser versions, so the web driver will download the latest available versions of the web drivers for us. All of the browsers I'm using are up to date, so you might want to update yours too. And we write down the command to install the Chrome, Opera and Firefox web drivers. Notice there is no spacing on the word Web Driver Manager. The drivers get downloaded individually to the said directory. For my case, I want them in the Python parent directory, so I copy the directory, paste it on File Explorer and copy them from the location. We'll navigate to the Python folder and paste the drivers there. Next, we'll add this folder to path, so the drivers will be in path.
Press the Start button, type in Path and select Edit System Environment option. Click on Environment Variables, and we shall add the folder to the path we created some time ago for the Python program and Python scripts, while we were installing Python. In case you don't have the path instance, check out the video on installing Python to see how you create one. The link is in the description below. We'll click on Edit, then add a new entry to the variable. We copy the directory to the Python folder and paste it back to the environment variables window. Click OK to save changes and exit. We should restart the system now, because upon running our program, we still have the path error message. After restarting, we can write a short program, just to make sure all the web drivers are working as expected. Firstly, we import the web driver library from Selenium. Next, we'll create the variable browser, which we shall use to invoke the Chrome web driver. Then while on the Chrome browser, we shall browse the Flash Score website. And after the website loads, we shall maximize the window. Next, we save the file and run it. Selenium launches the Chrome driver. Next, the browser gets opened and loads the Flash Score website. Just beneath the address bar, there is a notification that Chrome is being controlled by a test software. It is worth noting that this particular Chrome browser is up to date, as of the time of recording of the video. We can close the browser and the output shell. Next, we shall invoke the Opera browser. So we change to the Opera method, save the program and run the same. Selenium launches the Opera driver and subsequently, the browser gets launched and browses to flashscore.com. Opera does not clearly indicate it's under some form of control, but throws some error notifications. Browser update permission is also not granted. However, this was the latest version of Opera as of the time of the video recording. Next, we'll invoke the Firefox browser, using the Firefox method. We save the program and run it.
The GekaDriver WebDriver for Firefox gets launched then the browser gets launched and navigates to flashscore.com. This is Firefox version 88, the latest as of now. So now you have it. This video is part of the tutorial video on how to scrap historical football data from the Flash Score website. The link to the working, updated video is in the description box below. Click the like button if you found the video helpful, and also subscribe to the channel. To get notified of any of our future video releases, click on the bell icon.